Hey, I'm Pops, and welcome Throwback Thursday. That's right, Throwback Thursday. You can see from the thumbnail, I'm going to talk about Serpico 1973, Al Pacino gem. That's right. In between doing Godfathers, this is one of those that he squeaked in there. Uh, Sidney Lumet is a legend. He's a genius filmmaker with tons of great things in his uh, resume of, of films. Uh, this is based in True Events, uh, the Knapp Commission. This is a film that I will try to explain uh, some of the biography, some of the elements. It's not going to be the kind of film that's for everyone. It's a very, it's, it's, it's one of those things that when you watch it, every time I've watched it, I always feel like I'm picking up new things. And I'm also picking up uh, elements that I don't enjoy as much. And yet I enjoy other elements more. So it's kind of an interesting film. I, I really do enjoy it. Uh, Frank Serpico is really, this, this would almost be absurd if it wasn't a true story. Like this would be obnoxiously unbelievable uh, on its face if it were not based on a cop who actually did this. A cop who said, I'm going to play by the rules. I'm not going to take bribes. I'm going to do what's right. And he's going to constantly try to find his way to navigate through the system and then out everyone to the point where they, they create what's called the NAP Commission. It's almost entirely rooted because he started this process of trying to get another person to stand up, another person to stand up. So the, the movie moves through um, a very quick opening sequence where he's shot in the face, right? He's headed to the hospital. And there's comments about other cops wanting to shoot him, and you don't know why. And then, of course, we end up in this flashback of a film before we cut back to current day. And it goes all the way back to the police academy. It goes all the way back to his idealistic learning the ropes, um, going outside of his realm of expertise to take someone down, muscling in on a case just to get the the cop, the getting the case and getting the suspect, even though that cop is off duty, he just takes care of it. He's in plain clothes and he gets to jump. He arrests them and uh, the other cops just take the collar and he's like quickly understanding this is not what I expected this to be like, right? This is not what I thought this was going to be like, right? And <clears throat> he's very suave and interesting. He um, has this party scene. He goes by Paco. Again, it's kind of a weird thing. Like, going by Paco? Why would Frank go by Paco? Anyway, again, if it weren't factual or at least rooted in some sort of fact, this would be weird and awkward and strange. But we're telling such a unique, interesting story. This is such a rich history of things that this guy did. It works really well. Like, he's he, he was shot at by the other cops at one point in the middle of a collar. And it's like... They don't even want to fill out the forms. They don't even want to do anything, right? Um, the scene where they're like, the, the cops are obsessed with like, like they're they're learning about marijuana, so they're all getting their little their little high on. And you're like, this dude, he, he could care less about any of this kind of stuff, right? And it's all about the money, being on the take, taking their bribes, and they kind of intercut that with him trying to live a normal life, you know, get a girlfriend, flirt with a neighbor date her for a while. And yet at the same time, he's always trying to figure out how to navigate the system to get to a different department, go up the chain of command, go to this captain, go to this person, whatever he can do to figure things out. And at one point when he gets to a completely different area, they realize that the corruption and stuff is even worse than it was before. It's like, it's almost like mafia style, like literally are shaking a guy down for a couple hundred bucks completely nuts and he's like i don't take the money and they're like well who took your money from before so now you have like the corruption of the thievery and the bribery that are on top of this so serpico's in the middle of a mess and the film really really gets in the weeds about police corruption and almost like graphic elements of how far they will go right they're circling him they're shaking him down trying to scare him into submission telling him like you can give it away you can, you know whatever you got to take your money and you got to be on the take like everybody else right because he shakes down this mafia guy and then of course he's getting into fights with people it, it's just it's it's crazy right really is cra crazy right they attack him in a, a locker room looking for a wire things like that he, he he knows that his life is at risk with these other cops right so when we finally get to the end 
and we get to this place where there's these lookouts and they're going to do this drug raid. He gets over, he gets moved over to nar- narcotics, right? And uh, you know it's going to turn a little ugly uh, because they kind of set it up like, hey, listen, man, you know, they can get you not by actually getting you, by just not having your back. And that's pretty much how it shakes out. We have the scene that plays out that goes back to the opening, and it's how it goes for a circle. This is definitely an Oscar film. It was nominated for a whole bunch of different um, Oscars. Didn't really win all of those. Sir, um, Sir Piccino didn't win. You know, Cindy Lumet didn't win. So, but it's really, really a great timepiece um, about how it's tough to do the right thing. How it can just wear it out of you like you can do the right thing for a short period of time you can do the right thing for a small thing but when it comes to doing the right thing over time it's very very difficult and Serpico is definitely a a classic film that dives into that like very few films have so I enjoy it hopefully it's something you haven't seen in a while and you want to revisit or you've never seen Uh, it's a drama it's not an action film it is um, driven by dialogue and Pacino's performance Everything else is just very solid. Um, it can feel dated at times because of you know where you are, but you are very immersed into what it felt like in that time, in that place, which I think is what the point of the film is and what what it has become as like a time capsule of this NAP commission ousting the New York City police uh, corruption scandal. So that's my take on it. You guys tell me what you guys think. I'm Pops.